They say short films are all but dead, but I had to make just one more. This is going to be about my neighborhood and the people who visit it and some of the things in it and a few other places just for the heck of it. Hollywood Boulevard is in my neighborhood. It's kind of our answer to Times Square. Here we see the young hustler working in a pale lime green glow of the neon, trying his best moves on a pretty blonde from. Wait a minute, she says. My friends are here and uh, I've got to go back to Kansas now. Wow, he says. I almost scored. But none too soon, sunrise comes to LA. As the fog bound traffic crawls north on the San Diego freeway, or what the locals like to call the slow 05. The young surfers of Huntington Beach get ready for a new day. Back in my neighborhood, the day is well underway. Here's my apartment on Sweetser Avenue in West Hollywood. Melrose Avenue is in my neighborhood, home of the infernally hip and the leaders of our next generation. The Blue Whale's in my neighborhood, as is Chateau Marmont, where, as everyone knows, Belushi died. Close by, the 40-foot-tall Marlboro Man watches over Sunset Boulevard. In my neighborhood, people are always on the move. Usually they come here in their cars, but spend most of their time not driving, but doing other things. Notice how casually he slips down the paper. He's done it hundreds of times. I wonder if this guy realizes how much he looks like the camel man. This guy is developing the cool stare to pass the time in traffic. Ah, just a little readjustment and there, perfect. A lot of people just stare at me and my camera. A few smile and then go on their way. A lot of people like to wave, but quite a few can't believe they're on camera. You can't be filming me, is a look du jour. But since this is LA, people have developed what I like to call the casual look around, kind of sneak a peek. And uh, I've been filmed so many times, I'm way too sophisticated to care look. Here's a guy jogging at rush hour on Sunset Boulevard, but it is Hollywood. Here's some ENG, that's electronic news gathering crews at work. I wonder what the big story could possibly be. Oh, I get it, a clear day in the basin. You can see all the way to downtown. The business district of downtown reminds me of a sci-fi set. People walk alone and seem cut off from the real world. Just a little east of downtown is the warehouse district, where lots of artist types have their studios. Near Little Tokyo, I found this old bowling alley sign. It says, set them up, enough said. There's a lot of graffiti in this area. I'm not sure what a Christmas sausage is, and I'm pretty sure I don't want to know. This mural isn't in my neighborhood. It's down in Torrance. It caught my eye one afternoon, and I wanted to try something with the wall and the phone when these four young women came into frame. I was spellbound as they stopped and walked back to the middle and struck this pose. It's my favorite shot in the film. This mural is right up the street. Reminded me of an animation sequence. And this one is on Sepulveda Boulevard, supposedly one of the longest streets in the world. What do those airplanes mean anyway? Right next to a lightly traveled Sepulveda is the San Diego freeway. These guys in the blue car wave at me while the passenger in the yellow pickup at the lower right gives me the finger. Ah, Los Angeles. This isn't in my neighborhood either. It's the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, where UCLA plays its home game. The whole atmosphere there is relaxed and informal. People drink white wine and eat things like warm goat cheese salad. Meanwhile, down at the Coliseum for a USC Notre Dame game, it's more like a war zone. Cops everywhere, people closing gates, keeping people out, eating rare steak, where everyone's on television. Here's a Notre Dame fan doing a modified sneak a peek. Who could he be filming? Look around. Out near Rialto, I found this place. Blue Haven pools by day and a foothill driving by night. Now that's California. Across Foothill Boulevard, which is also the end of Route 66, is the Wigwam Motel. 
where the motto this week is, do it in a teepee. Well, it's time to get back to my neighborhood and wind this baby up. It's nice to get back to where people are so sophisticated that they only make small, sideways glances at the camera. Where talk is cheap, but film is still expensive, so... Oh, one last car couple, my favorite. I think they really catch the spirit of my neighborhood. Well, so long for now. And if you're ever in my neighborhood and you see some guy with a camera, well, you'll know what to do.